At reception, a seriously injured eight-month-old kitten has just been rushed in. Can we see you? Yeah, no, I'll get this for you straight away. Okay. Just take a seat there. Thank you. Cheers. Blackie belongs to Michael's elderly parents. Tell me what's happened. OK, well, he's, he disappeared for a day and a half, mate, and all of a sudden he's just uh, rocked up in the back porch and he's been meowing and, you know, he's, he, he was actually dragging himself in. So he dragged himself into the, yeah, into the backyard? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. So no idea of what's happened? No idea, no idea. It doesn't look like there's any blood, so... Yeah. This might hurt a bit, mate. Come on. It doesn't look right, does it? No, the front legs are working OK there. Yeah. It's got strength there, but... Look at that back leg there. Yeah, that's what worries me. So he's just hanging limp there. His back legs are basically in an absolute mess. That right leg is just hanging there with no sensation, no movement whatsoever. But to be honest with you, it's the other leg that I'm looking at most intently because if that leg can't be salvaged, then Blackie has no hope. If he can't straighten out that leg, he can't support weight on that leg. Oh, OK. Man, this could be a real problem. I thought we'd take a, um, a full body shot first okay, just to yep. really check out exactly what's going on. In the x-ray room at Bondi, Blackie is undergoing crucial tests. There's no feeling at all in that tail. No, there's not. What are you seeing in the room? This is just a bit of a check everything shot. What's that? Look at my boobs. <laughs> That's my oh, possum. It's hard to avoid them right now. <laughs> what is that? It's a baby possum. In the middle of the x-rays, another of the clinic's orphans has suddenly appeared. I thought you'd slipped a chicken fillet there for a second. <laughs> chicken fillet. <laughs> it's actually the best way to warm him up. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Whatever gets you going, so. <laughs> the possum should survive. But sadly, Blackie's x-rays reveal sickening injuries. One back leg is paralysed and the other has been badly fractured. In terms of a cat having so many things wrong with it that you teeter in the brink of wondering whether it's actually worth keeping on going, Blackie's that cat. Hey, they're incredible. What he's been through and the injuries he has are just amazing. At the Bondi Clinic, Michael is confronted with Blackie's x-rays. His right leg should be sitting like this one here. Why is it so far back? See how there it's been pushed right through? So he's fractured his right femur, his right leg, basically where it inserts into the hip joint. And it's been rammed right through. That's yeah. horrible. He's never going to walk again with a leg like that. I know it's hard to take, but we're looking at that, we're going to have to amputate that leg. It just puts into perspective what he's done to actually get home, though. Dragging two broken legs. He's a fighter, mate, that's for sure. Telling anyone that their much-loved pet is going to lose a leg, it, it's one of the toughest jobs a vet has. Y you don't want to be in that situation, trust me. Blackie's chances of survival now depend on complex reconstructive surgery to fix his fractured left back leg. There are no guarantees. Put some pins in there to stabilise that fracture. Right. If we don't do that, I'm, I'm sorry to say, it's just, there's nothing we can do. I'll level with you. I, to me, that looks like he's been kicked from behind. Just knowing that somebody out there could have inflicted this horrific injuries to Blackie is just horrible, isn't it? Mm. What, for a laugh, for a cheap shot, to impress your mates? I, I don't know, but it sickens me. Do your tricks, mate, and get him through, get him over the line. Sure. We will, mate. I just hope he's going to be OK. I'll be praying for him. It's still pretty useless, yeah, it is. Isn't it? Hey, you'd be better off without it, mate. Eight month old Blackie is about to undergo a marathon double operation. The kitten's life depends on it. It's just amazing, isn't it? He's so agreeable to anything you do to him. Yeah, he hasn't stopped purring the whole way through. Chris and Dr. Tony Mossman will both be operating on Blackie. Tony is the clinic's orthopaedic expert. All right. The moment of truth for Blackie. So I'm going to take off the right leg with amputation first of all, and Tony steps in and reconstructs that left leg. So let's go for it. I guess that an amputation sounds simple enough. It's just a matter of getting the leg off, but you do have to be careful, obviously, for the fact that there is a very big artery, very big vein, and also a nerve in there. You've got to find those, 
just delicately remove them, tie them off, and then get on with business. Back up to 99. Okay. There we go. There we go, Bucky. That's it. End of an era. Job is now half done. We've got managed to get that leg off. We now move on to the other side and complete the job. So what we're going to do here is put a stainless steel wire to stop it rotating and then we put a small pin up the centre which holds it in position. Blackie's major operation is continuing. Chris has already amputated the kitten's right leg. Now it's up to Tony to piece back together his other fractured leg. OK, now I just put that back into position. You just use the same tools at home, wouldn't you, Tony, to fix a broken chair or two? Absolutely. Chris, Tony did my cupboards as well. <laughs> really? Yes, he did. Multi talented. Good job. Very good job. Yeah. yeah. They're still standing. Okay. Still standing. Straight. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. It's looking fall. good for you, buddy. <laughs> it's fallen over. Now, no. all we need now is the mallet. Mm -hmm. This pin now will drive up so that it's level with his joint surface, and that'll stay there permanently. Now test his leg. Cats like Blackie can cope with only three legs, but having already lost one, it makes this reconstructive surgery even more critical. It's obviously repairing a leg is always important, but in Blackie's case, this just has to be 100% straight and support all that weight, because if it doesn't work, Blackie can't walk, and that'd be, it. that'd be no future for Blackie. This is outrageous. What have we got here? Hey, Michael, how are you going? Hello, how are you? I'm Chris. It's the morning after Blackie's amputation, this and the kitten's owner, Andrea, has just arrived bearing gifts. Thank you. Come on. Come on, Blackie, man. I'm kid, that's really good, man. Yeah, she's a bit shocked with what she sees. But no. it's a bit different. You're not shocked? I'm okay, no. Yeah. No. No. Because my husband. Lost the finger. I go to hospital. You okay, Mrs. Angeli? I'm all right to the Nothing else. She's just saying that it's just a shame what's happened to him. He should he shouldn't have to go through this. That's what she's saying. But I can tell that he's happy to see you. I can feel that he's purring and and when he stretches his feet out like that, mm. it's a sign of comfort. I, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Yes, it's nice. The next step for Blackie is intensive physiotherapy. There's still a little bit of swelling around the, the wound yeah. there, which we'd expect. Yeah. But he's not progressing as quickly as Chris would like. <laughs> we always give in. <laughs> she gives in. You give in. The kitten will need tough love if he's ever going to get through the pain barrier and walk again. Good boy. Come on, then. Blackie, you ready? You going to show off? Show him what you can do. Come back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Hey! You're going to run off and hide. <laughs> I think so. After two weeks of rehabilitation, Blackie, the now three-legged cat, is ready to go home. Blackie's just made a truly incredible recovery, and I'm almost in awe of the little guy. Over the moon, man. This is awesome. This is great. In the little roll there. Yeah. He's just getting used to, to his new body and the way it works now. Yeah. Look at that. That's <laughs> awesome. See, Black. See, mate, you stay out of trouble, all right? I'm just totally thrilled. I can't believe it. When I saw him the other day, he was just like down and out. And, but seeing him today and the way he's been moving around and that, no, I'm just totally shocked more than anything. But it's a great result. Blackie is now back to the good life, at home with grateful owners, Andrea and Antonius. She's just happy, you know, big way. Yeah, very happy. Yes, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. <laughs> you me everything. Yeah, Thank you. No, Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. 
click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.